Money, money. We're going to talk about how we use money to understand decimals. Now, just like we've done in the past, I want us to take down these notes. Notice, I put them in the three columns again. I'd like you to do the same in your notebook. The first word I want to talk about is tenth. A tenth is one of ten equal parts of a whole. A dime is a tenth of a dollar. And if you look on the place value chart in the bottom right, you'll see that tenths are just to the right of the decimal. You can pause the video to get down your notes. Now, a dollar is equivalent to 10 dimes. That means that each of those dimes represent one tenth of a dollar. One in 10 pieces. Just 10 dimes make up a dollar. Again, I have a dime and a dime is equivalent to 10 pieces or one of the 10 columns, which is equivalent to one in the tenths place on the place value chart. Our next word is hundredth. Hundredth is one part of 10 equal parts of a whole. An example is a penny. A penny is one hundredth of a dollar. And if you look at the place value chart down below, the hundredths are two places to the right of the decimal point. Now, we take a look here. We have a dollar, and a dollar is equivalent to 100 pennies. So each of those 100 pennies have a value of one hundredth of a dollar. So if we look here, I have the penny. The penny is equivalent to one of these 100 squares, which is equivalent to a one in the hundredths place on this place value chart. The next word is decimal point. A decimal point is a dot that we use to separate dollars and cents, or we use it to separate ones from tenths. If you look in the example, you can see the decimal point right there between the ones and the tenths. The tenths and the hundredths are to the right of the decimal point. Whole numbers are to the left of the decimal point. This is a dollar. We've all seen a dollar before. What we're going to really talk about today are the coins that are used to make up a dollar. A dollar represents one whole, the quarter. There's a couple different backs because we now have different kinds of quarters. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Its value is 25 cents. It is two tenths and five hundredths takes four quarters to make up a dollar. The next one I want to talk about is a dime. We talked a little bit about this last night. A dime is worth 10 cents. Its value is one tenth. It takes 10 dimes to make up one dollar. Okay, the next one is nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. Its value is five hundredths. It is five hundredths of a dollar. Now let's look at a penny. We've already said a penny is one hundredth. There are one hundred pennies in a dollar. A penny is worth one cent. Okay, now let's try this. If I was to count this money here, I have one dollar, two dimes, and three pennies. It is worth one dollar and 23 cents. It has one whole, two tenths, and three hundredths. Now let's take a look at this. We have two dollars and 42 cents. Now that can be made up with two dollars 
and here I have 42 cents. I have two ones, two whole dollar bills, four tenths, and two hundredths. So if I look at it, it can be written like this. I have two dollars, four dimes, two pennies. Or two ones, four tenths, two hundredths. Okay, now you try. Here's five dollars and forty-six cents. In your notebooks, I want you to try to write down how many dollars, dimes, and pennies this is. Today we're going to learn how to add and subtract money, which is the same thing as adding and subtracting decimals. Let's do an example like this. $17.99 minus $7.90 and 9 cents. Wait, but there's a problem. Do you see it? I see the mistakes. First, we gotta line up the decimals. Rule number one, whenever you're adding or subtracting money or decimals, uh, uh, first you line up the decimal point. Next, we gotta do 9 minus 9, which equals 0. The next thing we gotta do is 9 minus 0, which equals 9. Next, we gotta bring down the decimals. Then the next is we gotta do 7 minus 7, which equals 0. And next is 1 minus nothing which equals 1, and the answer is $10.90.